so this is ujwal kumar sen and in this tutorial we are going to learn about properties of materials i hope you are excited and you wanted to learn about all properties so there is no hurry i am going to share with you i am in hurry not hurry so i am going to share with you all properties of materials so before going to share with you properties of materials first of all let me tell you what is material what is material which is having definite shape size mass is known as materials it could be in liquid form also right now and uh, it can be also you know vaporization form also so properties basically what is properties and you know, what are properties basically it's all about you know features we are talking about features characteristics characteristics of materials so in this video tutorials you are going to learn all characteristics features of materials so basically you know there are many types of materials so i cannot explain all types of materials here but yes i am going to explain all types of properties those are most important for you to learn i hope you are going to enjoy all properties because i am going to give you some real life example in this video the probably this video will be little bit lengthy so don't worry keep watching we'll learn lot of things in this video so first elastic city elastic city that means people said elastic properties so basically what is elastic properties uh, this is one of the most common most common people almost all people use this property in our real life because we always use rubber rubber band we use most of the time we use maybe you know for uh, holding anything maybe we uh, for holding currencies also we use rubber at least in india we used right so elasticity this is one of the property so what is this what is about this property and uh, because of this property we have studied lot of things so i will go through all those things but first of all let me share with you what is elasticity you know suppose that we have a body and uh, this body is fixed from this side, this side and we are pulling this body and because of we are pulling that means we are putting some force and uh, for uh, after pulling the body's length has been increased here and after increasing length what we did we just leave it leave it as it is as it is we did not pull the pull that body anymore then what happen if the body is gaining its original position without any deformation without any deformation without deformation then this the property of this material is known as i mean this thing is known as elasticity well if we we'll, if we we'll understand this in the technical point of view so, see i am a mechanical engineer and i am sharing all these things only for mechanical engineering students if you are not a mechanical engineering students even then you can understand what i am talking and definitely you can get some in depth concept because material studying materials all about material science strength of material we generally study all things in these subjects only so if you are talking about to understand this in technically then definitely we have to go through stress and strain diagram sigma is stress small is strain and you know if you are going through the mile steel which is most common people studied stress strain diagram for mile steel that is one of the you know uh, ductile material so if you are going from here to here and this is these all things are having all points having different values from here to here from here to here hooke's law exist hooke's law exist after from here to here little bit deformation takes place so this is from here to when hooke's law is exist that is that means it is elastic reason that means there would not be any deformation taking place in the material so this is known as what elasticity of the material you need to understand this right now second this is the property and elasticity if you will say which one is more elastic i have two material site now one is rubber and another one is steel if i will say which one is more elastic steel or rubber 
I have already shared in my videos but again I am sharing because I don't know you have watched those videos or not because this is one of the most important example to make you understand to make you understand the elastic properties so rubber and steel which one is more elastic can you guess let me share with you steel is more elastic because time taking is also important how much time is taking to gain its original position after leaving the body from load that is also important that's why steel is more elastic than rubber i hope you got some inside information from here and here also well second property if i'm talking about this is known as ductility ductility because of this property one of the operation we can do that is also important suppose that you know if, if you are familiar with electricity then you have seen those small small wires inside the wire okay and those wires can be made up of this operation wire drawing and this is only possible because the material is ductility duct ductile material the material is ductile if the material is quite good I mean, quite ductility material then we can do this operation wire drawing the tile material having one thing I mean good elasticity but after some after some time it's a uh, you know plastic deformation takes place okay it is having some and uh, uh, as I have shared with you MS is a ductile material aluminium is a ductile material you can say copper is also a ductile material silver is also a ductile material you can say that oh, so these are all ductile materials and ductile material having this property wiring operation we can do this is known as ductility and it's it is having you know the, it's opposite to this property one of the another property is brittle brittle property ductile material having another features that is it's it is having very good tensile strength what is the meaning of tensile strength suppose that this is the body and we will pulling this body from both the side it will just keep on increasing it will not break quite easily yeah of course it will break after a point but it will uh, it will expand after pulling both the side by using total uh, proper force now brittle it is just opposite to ductile material ductility properties and brittleness is you know brittle uh, material is just opposite to ductile material how now brittle material is it is having quite good tensile strength Brittle material is having, you know what I am doing here right now? It's compressive strength. It is having quite good compressive strength. Quite good compressive strength is having. That's why we used brittle material. Example, cast iron is a brittle material. Glass is a brittle material. That's why after falling glass from your hand on the floor, it there is, there is not even 0.1% chance that glass will not break that glass will definitely break because of its property that is brittle but one thing is pretty clear its compressive strength is quite good that means definitely the application there is some application where we can use this material that is propeller shaft if you are going to market then you can see propeller shaft just below I mean in truck we use this shaft to transmit torque to the uh, differential okay because that's why that car or that's a truck can move so in propeller shaft we use this material cast iron because propeller shaft required more compressive strength that's why we used cast iron to make propeller shaft which you we, uh, which we used in automobile so these all three are good properties of materials other than this I will share with you plastic city plasticity what is plasticity basically you know yeah, I have shared with you elasticity elasticity is just opposite to plasticity what happened after uh, you know after uh, move after after pulling any body if the deformation is permanent permanent that means after leaving the body after leaving the body it will not gain to its uh, original position suppose that we have body and we are re we are just pulling this body okay for I uh, suppose that up to extend here and whenever we are leaving we are after leaving after leaving this load this load it is not gaining the original position it is gaining up to here 
that means there is a plastic deformation taking place and this deformation is known as plasticity i hope you are getting my point this is one of the most important you know this is also one of the most important because without plasticity uh, we cannot do many things even because wire drawing if you are doing that is also plastic deformation is taking place this is also known as permanent deformation which cannot be regained automatically this is one of the property so property number 4 i have discussed with you now fifth number property is toughness toughness this is probably you know for many this is little bit complicated how to define this toughness property but uh, if you if you uh, if you go through a diagram that is uh, you know that is uh, that is uh, you know that is uh, that what I, what i can say if you go through a diagram that is uh, um, stress strain diagram then definitely you can understand about this property because the, in this according to this property if you will say definition of this property then i must say uh it is having you know it is having capacity to absorb energy without fracture what kind of energy what kind of energy that is important energy means some kind of load if anybody is here and we are putting load i mean we just putting i just uh, putting load here and it this uh, this body is just absorbing load absorbing load without any deformation without anything just absorbing load there is nothing is happening in the body because of this load that is known as toughness of the material okay now next malleability malleability what is malleability basically malleability means you know m for machine and i must say machining if any material having good machining property that means you know after machining after machining many materials surface finish surface finish is not good because that material is not having very good malleability property so for doing for getting great surface finish we can use malleable material which is having great uh, great you know machining property that's why it can the material can be you know the material can be uh, can be can be done any operation without any you know any absorb any any bad surface finish on the surface so basically this material is we used and uh, we used for much good machining property okay and uh, this property having high degree of plasticity i must say that this is a technical term high degree of plasticity you need to remember this also so this is about malleability of the of the material now seventh number property that is you know if you say strength well i am teaching here strength of material you must know what is strength you know what is strength basically if you will say i will say you are having very good strength that means you are having capability capability to tackle anything tackle anything that means you are being very good strength in mathematics you are being very good knowledge in mathematics that means you are having capability to understand and solve pro, uh, solve mathematical problems the same here in case of materials if i talking about strength in materials so what exactly we do with materials we exactly what exactly we do with materials we used for any application for any application that means what kind of application for most of the time we use material for load bearing load bearing application or where we used where we required strength load bearing okay that may be we are using in machine maybe we are using in building maybe we are using in automobile anywhere that because of this load bearing uh, load bearing you know uh, capacity the, the material is having and how much load that material can bear that uh, object which is made up of different material the which material is bare the, uh, the material can be here that that is known as strength without fracture definitely okay the load can be here by the material without fracture that is known as strength of the material that's why you know many students face problem even they don't know how to define strength of material that's why i'm sharing with you strength is one also one of the property of material now last property i must share you that is hardness 
hardness and based on these there is a there are many things we are doing basically uh, BHN is most popular there are other methods too but BHN means Brinell hardness number Brinell hardness number okay and we uh, we can say the material is brittle and how much brittle or how much the met not brittle exactly the material is having how much hardness or what what type of hardness the material is having by by looking at this bhn number this is our standard form and definitely we use most of the time in companies that how what type of material how much hardness the material is having how much hardness we required and the, based on that we can solve problem in this okay so uh, so what is hardness basically you know basically suppose that we are having material and we are just impacting load here and because of this impacting load the material will resist resist for abrasion abrasion or in maybe uh, some part of this material will get erode erode okay maybe erosion we say so this this will resist for erosion or uh, i must say not erosion erosion we used in uh, you know soil erosion all that i if abrasion is the must uh, you know, proper word here so metal is resist for against abrasion that means material will be like this after even impactive that property is known as hardness of the material so there are eight properties i have discussed with you within about 16 minutes i hope you enjoy all properties and you understand all properties of materials and uh, what can i say thanks for watching and keep watching my videos bye bye